All right, what's up guys? We're back with another one here. Now, this is this is probably not worth making a video, but I was so tight. I was so tight watching this. I was like, you know, I have to do it. I have to immortalize this moment because I'm still tight one week later. You know, Gilded Gearshai has been out for a year now. You know, there's been a lot of, a lot of things have happened. Well, I think the biggest L of all, this might be the biggest L of all time. This might last in the future of Gilded Gears Drive. We got like Woshige 2022 is what I'll call it. <laughs> Woshige 2022. The spirit of Woshige lives on. So yeah, today I just want to share that with you. Immortalize it so the parties involved will never forget. But yeah, like always, uh, if you like this stuff, you like Gilded Gears Drive, you like watching people completely embarrass themselves in front of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, hit that subscribe button. So first of all, there's a lot of new, a lot of new friends, right? A lot of you guys are new strivers. You just joined recently. You might not even know who Woshige is. That's fine. Let's do a real quick history lesson for you. And if you know who it is, it's always good to watch. It's always fun to watch Woshige again, right? If you don't know, Woshige is actually like one of the battle the battle designers at, at uh, Street Fighter, Street Fighter V. I don't know if he's still doing it with six or something, but he he was like a top, top uh, Japanese player, melee player for a long, long time. And of course, when Guilty Gear Exert came out, he was grinding here. This is at Evo 2000, and I don't even remember what year it was, but let's check it out. So here we go. We got Ogawa, one of the Zato gods against Woshige here. Winner's semis. Nice burst. Go, Woshige. Go. Oh, God. He got super. Double super. He can't burst. Here we go. The Woshige moment. So he's popping off, right? He just won. He just won winner's semis at Evo. His first overseas major. Look at that. Look at the crowd. It's amazing. If you got a smart eye, if you got if you got the keen eagle eye, you probably know what went wrong already. But... <laughs> Stud him! Get him! Get him! Oh God! Stud! Yes! The best! The absolute best! Oh God! With the pop off! Absolute classic! Absolute classic! And all you can do here, all you can do is laugh at yourself. All you can do is laugh at yourself. Oh no, God! With the awkward pop off, always. Man, he, he's got the best pop-offs in the biz here. High five and everybody. Bro, bro, that's so good. This turnaround, like, watch this moment. That one right there. <laughs> oh! All right, all right. I totally need to watch that over and over again. We don't need to watch that a million times. But that is, that's the Woshige, right? So that's the Woshige. Whenever you hear somebody talk about Woshige, he was not Guilty Gear. That's what it is. He thought he won. He popped off. He didn't win. He lost the set right there. Now, what? What? Why am I bringing this up again? This is a long time ago. That was was that seven years ago, six years ago. What? Why am I? Why am I bringing this up? Well, just last week we had CEO, right? We had lovely CEO in uh, lovely Daytona Beach, right? Beautiful place, and uh, some moment happening. So I want to share this. I want to share this. You know, this kind of feels like bullying. You know, I I was thinking, I was like, should I make this video? Should I make this video to point to bully this this guy? But I, I yes, yes, I absolutely think I should. Here we are in CEO in a lovely pools match between two two dudes here. So J Ram and some guy named Island Herbs or Herbs or whatever. Jacko and Nagori Yuki here. So this is just pools, right? I don't know what kind of bad blood these guys have here, but let's watch what happens. The verge of popping on the blood. So here, Jacko's in a really good spot. Seven seconds left, right? Just jump D, zoning out Nagoyuki. If you notice his blood down here, so his blood is, is really full, so he can't use dash. If he uses projectile, if he uses his dash, he's gonna pop. So this is almost like a checkmate situation. He dashed, he dashed. Uh-oh, you know what that means, so he dashed. Good goal burst. Already absolutely despicable in a tournament. If you do this on net play, first of all, if you do this on net play, you're already a cornball. If you're there teabagging on net play, you're already a huge cornball. If you go to an offline event in public on stream and you're teabagging like this, you're like a mega cornball. You're corny as hell. As you see, Nagoyuki pops, teabagging like a goofball. Ugh, beat the shit out of him. I was cheering. Let's go. Beautiful. And look at this guy. And not only that, he got a Mario Sunshine cap on. Look at his sponsor right there. He's got a little jersey on. Imagine if you were the sponsor. He teabags when he should have won, loses the set, and he lost. He lost. He was done after this. Spent the rest of the tournament in the crowd wearing his goofy ass hat. Good shit. I like I like this guy just shaking his head. Just shaking his head. What were you doing? The Nago you play just like, I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, sit your ass down. Tell him, Range. Tell him, Range. Oh my God, let's watch it again. Let's just watch it one more time. This is 13? No, he's not 13. I don't believe it. He's not 13. You're not telling me this guy 
this grown ass dude is teabagging a 13 year old at a major. Is that what you're telling me? And he lost? This story gets better and better every second. So yeah, that's it. I, that's it. Like I said, there's no, I got no lesson, nothing to say. I just, I feel like this moment needs to be immortalized. This is the biggest L I've seen to date in Guilty Gear Strive. And I don't know, you know, the game's only been out one year. We got at least five more years, I think, before the next one. This could be it. We might have the winner right off the bat. Now, the Woshige moment, you know, we all we all like talk about Woshige, but Woshige was an honest mistake, right? Woshige just made an honest mistake. It's just funny. This guy thought he was slick and he paid for it. And uh, I love to see it. it's a happy ending. So congrats to J Ram. The Nagoyuki player, I'm glad he got to move on. I'm glad he kept his cool. You know, he kept his cool, never gave up. The other guy, I don't even know his name. I forgot his name already, but I hope you learn your lesson. Hope you learn your lesson, big dog. They say he was an NRS player. So that that's what I that's what I saw on Twitter. They said the dude was an NRS player. So maybe he just gotta, you know, he's gotta just kinda get the, the NRS bad blood out of his system. I know, I know those dudes love teabagging and popping off and everything. It's 2022, baby. Let, let's grow up a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you think. What do you think about that? Leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed it, I, I had to share it with you. Any other big moments? Do you have a bigger L? Is there a bigger L? Is there a different Woshige moment than this one? I don't know. If you if you have it, share it with me. We'll watch it on the next stream. And uh, yeah, like always, subscribe to the good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.